everyone and welcome back to my channel where I wanted to do yet another book haul. So the book haul that I did before this was um, an unexpected book haul because there was a 60% um, bargain sale that showed up at one of the bookstores that I frequent here in Tokyo. But the book haul that I'm doing today is um, it's an order that I actually purchase online um, because I've kind of run out of options in the bookstore that I frequent. Basically, these are all books that I can't actually buy physically, so I had to go online. But the thing that's exciting about this book haul is that these are books that are most likely going to be books that I absolutely love. And why is that is because when I find books that I'm interested in that I'm interested in reading, I don't buy them right away. I don't learn about a book and immediately purchase it. What I do is I put it on a wish list and I leave them there and I go back to them over and over and I sort of um, will, what's the word, uh, go through a list and remove the books. I'm like, you know what, actually I'm not so interested. And so these books have actually been on this wish list for a year, which means they've lasted a year of, you know what, yes, I do want them. I'm just waiting until I actually purchase them. So these are books that I'm extremely, extremely, extremely looking forward to. Um, so to get into it, because I did purchase 10 books, but there's a little surprise at the end, which you'll just have to wait. Um, but yeah, the first book that I bought was The Time Machine by H.G. Wells. I have now read The Island of Dr. Moreau. Last year I, I read The War of the Worlds and I also read um, um, the, the Invisible Man. <laughs> I read Invisible Man. So this is the last book in his great book of classic sci-fi series. So The Time Machine, um, it's just that it's exactly what the title says. It's about a time machine and a time traveler who kind of discusses his experience with the time machine. So I'm very excited about this. Um, the next book I got, and so the next books that I got, um, I am going to read the blurb to these because the blurbs are so beautiful that I think it would be a huge dis disjustice to the books if I tried to summarize these myself. So I am going to read the blurb because these books are just, they sound sublime. So the first book is Winter in the Blood by James Welch. And it's basically narrated by a young Native American living on the Fort Belknap Reservation in Montana. Winter in the Blood is the unforgettable story of a man living out the tragedy of his people. Intelligent, sensitive, and self-destructive, he is haunted by the untimely deaths of his father and older brother and the shards of his once proud heritage. I think this is going to be fantastic. The next book I bought was Signs Preceding the End of the World by Yuri Herrera, translated by Lisa Dillman. And this book is um, a book about the border between Mexico and the United States and those who cross it. Um, traversing this lonely territory is Makina, a young woman who knows only too well how to survive in a violent, macho world. Leaving behind her life in Mexico to search for her brother, she is smuggled into the U.S. carrying a pair of secret messages. One from her mother and one from the Mexican underworld. And the, the, the writer of this blurb says, um, Yuri Herrera explores the crossings and translations people make in their minds and language as they move from one country to another, especially when there's no going back. So this also sounds absolutely beautiful and I think I'm really going to enjoy this one. Uh, the next book that I bought was A Heart So White by Javier Marias. Um, again, reading the blurb, and this is translated by Margaret Jo Costa. In the middle of a family lunch, Teresa, just married, goes to the bathroom, unbuttons her blouse, and shoots herself in the heart. What made her kill herself immediately after her honeymoon? Years later, this mystery fascinates the young newlywed Juan, whose father was married to Teresa before he married Juan's mother. As Juan edges closer to the truth, he begins to question his own relationships and whether he really wants to know what happened. So another book that just sounds absolutely thrilling. I think it's just going to be full of emotion and I'm just, I'm so excited about this. It's just 
it's just I think it's gonna be superb and then the next book I bought was uh, Blood Meridian by Cormac McCarthy so I've read a, a few Cormac McCarthy books um, already and this one is I I really do do think it's gonna be fantastic I've heard it's this most brutal book it's the most almost grotesque I've heard and that <laughs> really excites me basically um, but yeah Blood Meridian is an epic novel of the violence and death Pravity that attended America's westward expansion, Br brilliantly subverting the conventions of the Western novel and the mythology of the Wild West. Based on historical events that took place on the Texas-Mexico border in the 1850s, it traces the fortunes of the kid, a 14-year-old Tennessean, Tennessean who stumbles into a nightmarish world where Indians are murdered and the market for their scalps is thriving. So I, I think this is just going to be, this is going to be killer. I'm I'm so excited. And other than the Wells, I think you can see a theme. Um, so a lot of, you know, US, Mexico, um, uh, in theme, then you have a little bit of Native Americans within the US. So very uh, US centric books, um, other than this one, but still uh, very US centric books that I think are gonna be very exciting. And I think if I were to read all of these kind of back to back, that could be really, really interesting. And I would also like to read, if I do that, I would also like to add um, one of the uh, books in Larry, McCart Larry McCurtry's Lonesome Dove uh, Tetralogy. I've already read two. I have two more left. And um, I think that would be really fascinating to, fascinating to read all of these. And the thing that I also really like about these is that um, two of these, well, three, including The Time Machine, if we go back, are very short. They're all novellas. Um, I think I heard about these two actually from a list that was like the best novellas that you have to read. And I think that's where I heard about these. I'm not too sure where um, I heard about the Marias. I don't know where that came from, um, but I'm glad it came. But um, I think it's very good for me to have these novellas because I realized that a lot of my TB, the books on my TBR right now are really long books with um, 400, 500, 600, 700 page books. Um, some of them thousand page books and I realize I have a lot of those um, on my TBR pile so I think it's gonna be really necessary that I have some of these shorter books to insert in between um, so that I don't feel like I'm constantly just in the same book you know it like you know reading lots of books makes no um, you know doesn't mean anything you know if you read a hundred books who cares um, but if you're only reading these long books, it can feel like you're never really progressing. And I think um, that progression kind of helps you keep the motivation to keep reading. Even if you enjoy what you're reading, it's nice to sort of like feel like, oh yes, I read another book. And that that, that, that keeps things super exciting. But yeah, these, these, oh, I'm so excited about these. Um, so, so excited. And the last five books, sorry to say, it's a secret. It's a secret TBR. Can you see? Did I mess that up? Did I mess that up? Did you see? But yeah, this, the next five books that I secretly purchase, um, but you don't have to wait that long. You will see um, videos coming up very soon. Hopefully, I think. If I do this well, if I do this properly and I actually um, stick to my goal and don't mess around, you'll trying to make it where you can't see it I'm probably I, oh it doesn't matter it's gonna be in like the next video anyway so like even if you figure it out it doesn't matter but it's kind of fun to keep it secret because I think it's gonna be really fun um, so yeah so ten books five of them secret but the five books that I did show I am just so excited I think these are gonna be killer if, if I were to do a five-star predictions video which I don't think I, I plan to because I don't really do stars um, on this channel. But if I did a five star prediction video, um, other than the Wells, uh, sorry, other than the Wells, which the Wells is just, it's enjoyable, but none of them have been five stars so far. But if I were to do a five star prediction, I think these four would be on that list for sure. Like these just sound thrilling. So yeah, that's what um, I have to look forward to and what hopefully maybe you can have 
you can look forward to as well as I um, end up reading these. So yeah, that's it for, for today. Thank you for watching and I will see you again in my next video. Bye!